Gerald Tate fired the firm. So you're taking my promotion away? You know, most firms would put you in front of the bar and have your license stripped. You lied to a client and he figured it out. I lied to him to get him to do the right thing and honor his goddamn contract. And you didn't seem to mind so much when you thought I got away with it. But you didn't get away with it. And I can't justify handing you a promotion on the same day that you lose a huge client. One client doesn't make a firm. I don't know if you've noticed, but we're in the middle of an economic meltdown. Companies aren't exactly lining up to spend money on attorneys right now. And you know, Gerald might have forgiven the lying had you not humiliated him. But you did, and you need to accept that. Jessica, if you hadn't done as much for me as you have, I'd be heading for the door. If I hadn't done as much for you as I have, I'd be throwing you out the window. But Harvey, no more shenanigans. Do you do one more thing that isn't straight as an arrow, and instead of covering your ass, I will put you in front of the bar myself. Mike. Hey! Who's ready for a great first day? I'm gonna have to let you go. What? I just got reamed for lying to a client, and if they find out that I lied about you going to Harvard, they'll take away my license. You what? Not now, Donna. Look, I have to put my own interests above yours. It's nothing personal. You're fired. Wait, so you're worried that if I stay, then they might find out that you lied about me and you'll lose your license. But if you fire me, then I could tell them that you lied about me and you definitely lose your license. Are you telling me that if I throw you under the bus, you're gonna drag me with you? You put your interests above mine, and I'm just putting mine back up next to yours. You rehired. Okay, so should I... All right. Here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna give me back my promotion, and that's the last we're gonna talk about this. And why is that? Because if you don't, I'm gonna go across town and join Rick Peterson. I'm gonna approach every client I've ever closed, and I'm gonna take them with me. You do that, and you'll force me to put you in front of the ethics board. I don't think you will. And why not? Because you were obligated to notify them the second I lied to Gerald, but you didn't. You put me in front of the board right now, I'll put you right up there with me. Mm. I'll, um, I'll give you your promotion. But you have to do something for me. Anything. Ah, uh, pro bono. Anything but that. Harvey, pro bono cases are how we as a firm show that we care about more than just ourselves. I'm not saying we shouldn't do them. I'm saying I shouldn't do them. And it's how you can show me that you care about more than just yourself. You'll handle this yourself. You will not pass it off. Absolutely. Your first case. Awesome. What is it? Pro bono. Sexual harassment. Don't tell anyone I laid it off on you and don't screw it up. Got it. You can't handle it? I'll knock it out of the park. Easy, Clarence Thomas. Just go meet the client. Hey, didn't I tell you to get some better suits? I spent $500. For how many suits? Five. What? 